Okay, here's another limnology hack. If you um, are having a limnological emergency and really need to be able to take a, um, a secu disc transparency reading and you don't have a secu disc, you can put one together pretty easily and pretty cheaply. And um, this is pretty much all the stuff you need in order to do it. The first thing you need is uh, something round, uh, round and um, about 8 inches in diameter. This is a cake pan. It costs 88 cents. Uh, you can find it at a discount store. And what I've done for this cake pan is to drill about a quarter inch hole dead center in this thing. And the other thing I've done is to get a little black paint and paint the bottom surface of it. And the reason for that will be apparent in just a second. The other things we need are something heavy. This is so this uh, old galvanized chain stuff. Well, you probably have something heavy around you can use for this, but all you need is something to go on the underside of your secu disc to hold the thing down when there's some waves or currents or something. And so this was the cheapest, heaviest thing I could find in a hardware store. It's about a, it's about 20, 30 centimeters of heavy galvanized chain. You probably could use some of this contact paper. This is a, a shelf liner. It's a plastic stuff with adhesive on the back. And here's some non-stretching uh, rope that uh, you'll probably need too and you need something to attach the heavy thing uh, to the to the secchi disc and I found some kind of double-eyed hooks here and we'll see if we can make that work and you might need a couple pair of pliers but and a pair of scissors and that's pretty much all you need so here's one way to do this and I'll try and do it kind of quickly so that you won't get too bored but the idea here is that we, we need to um, use this as a disc we have to um, uh, get some white uh, pieces on here, and then um, we need to uh, we, uh, we need to attach it to the heavy weight and the line and calibrate the line. Yeah, so normally a secchi disc has four quadrants: two white ones and and um, and two black ones. At least the ones we use. So what you first want to do is um, get a circle of white and. So you can just trace around this uh, the bottom, the black bottom of this lovely uh, cake cake pan, and then now what we need to do is fold this in half and in half again, and that'll tell us where where our four quadrants are that and then you simply want to slice out two of them you basically cut down these lines you could do this with actual paint on the pan or you could do it with duct tape black and white or whatever you want to do the idea is to get um, two quadrants of white and two quadrants of black on on the bottom of the cake pan. And just remove the backing from from this plas plastic material and uh, place it perfectly on the bottom of the cake pan. try to sort of get it straight, although I would say it probably isn't super critical. So there we have our our secchi disc is, is created. The next step is to hang the weight on the bottom of it. So we have these things. But you can figure out any way you want to to do this. This is one that I thought might work really well, and we'll see in just a second if I was right. Um, Basically what I'm doing is leaving one loop intact to go on the top and opening the other loop to go down on the bottom to hook on to um, hook on to the heavy chain that I have and I, I hope that'll work okay. Well that was a bit of a tussle to get this thing open um, but I'm doing it in my office with really very minimal tools so I figure 
you may be doing this in the field yourself. So now I place this thing through this hole here, and we've got a loop on the upper end. And hopefully, if we get down under here, we're going to be able to loop two links of the chain on here. And maybe, maybe if we're lucky, there'll be room to close that, um, close this hook back so that the chain won't fall off. Take a couple of pairs of pliers. Ah, a little bit violent. Yeah, so there I've got the chain connected. You might have to mess around with the connector a little bit until you can get it to hang pretty much um, horizontally so that when you lift it into the water column it's going to um, actually be horizontal but um, this will work pretty well I think um, so our next next step on this and fine very exciting huh our next and final step is to put our cord on there so that we can lower our cord uh, lower the secu disc down through the water column and take note of when it disappears at what depth it disappears so you're going to want to have some non-shrinking line um, and our, you know, water that, that won't actually stretch or shrink um, as you lower it into the water. And tie a simple knot on here. Clove hitches like that. And then the next thing you want to do is mark the line at various depths from the surface of the secchi disc. You can do this with a tape measure. and a sharpie pen or something like that. So let's say we are working in the United States and we want to do these measurements in feet. We'll put a, a mark every every foot with a, with a marker until we get a nice dark mark that we can read. You can use different colors if you want, but the point is you're going to be wanting to count down the depth and see where the secchi disc disappears. Here's another foot mark. And then one does another and another until you've calibrated your entire line. We have a better marker here. Yeah, that one's better. So mark the line so that you can see it from both sides and then you're going to count those marks as you lower the secchi disc down until it disappears. Note the depth, the number of marks that have gone past and um, then pull it back up until um, the secchi disc reappears, and um, the average of those two measurements is a secchi disc depth. I hope this limno hack will help you out of your limnology emergency. So there it is, our very functional hacked secchi disc made for the cost of, I think, about $7. You could probably make them out of almost anything, but this is one way to work around.